Do you like power poles? Do you like power distribution? Well, that's what we're talking about today on K at MRD Radio Stuff. So check it out. MFJ was kind enough to send me a few things for power distribution because they know I'm a sucker for power poles. So we're going to take a look at the MFJ 1104. This is a little power pole distribution block. I'm going to go a little bigger. We're going to look at the MFJ 1107. This is a six pole distribution block, I believe. And then we've got the Mama Chapina of all power pole distribution blocks. This is the 1128 DC power outlet. So let's crack these guys open and take a look at what we got. Okay, so if you're new to the addiction known as power poles, this would be a good place to start. This is the 1104. It's a one in, three out power pole distribution block. So let's crack this guy open. Yeah, we don't need that. Comes with power poles, because what good is a power pole distribution block if we don't actually have power poles? Looks like we've got the 30 amp power poles in here. Also comes with extra fuses. Nice touch. So that's pretty nice. There's your in. You've got three outputs, 30 amp fuse there, 25, 10, and 5. And this would basically be so like, uh, like I said, if you're just starting out, you've got a power supply, you would plug your power supply into here and then that's going to feed these three. So like your HF radio, your VHF radio, and then, you know, um, I always have an extra power pole port just lying around just to have to test things and hook things up with. So. This is a good place to start. Nice metal construction. It's got a couple screw holes here so you can mount it. I'm actually probably gonna mount one of these um, on my bench here. So a cool thing about this little guy, you can't see them right now because they're not lit, but this has lights on them. So if the fuses blow, it should light up. So I've got this connected to the 7300 right now. So we're gonna boost this up to, eh, let's go to 100, why not? Let's see if we can blow this fuse and see what happens. There it goes, see, just like that. And actually this fuse has a light in it, but you can see that that light is lit up. All right, so this is the 1107. Now this one's a little bit of an upgrade here. You've got six outs. I believe this has a, uh, a binding post terminal on here. So let's crack this guy open. Got some nice foam packaging around here. So now we've got a barrel connector, more power poles. So this guy, we've got one, two, three, four power pole outs. Uh, it appears that either one of these can be the input, and then one of these can also be an output, so it's kind of one in and seven outs, really, and then you've got some binding posts uh, as well. So I plugged the barrel connector into both of these, and it showed voltage on all of these, so I don't think it really matters. I took this apart, everything's kind of wired together, so. And then a little plastic, uh, kind of like um, hobby box kind of thing. Uh, one thing I will note, this guy's a little kiltered there, so I might... I might resolder that just for my OCD so that lays flat, but pretty neat bit of kit. So check it out. I mounted this up here. I just I unscrewed this and uh, just put a couple holes in that hobby box there. Mounted it to my pegboard here. Brought my power supply up here. So now when I want to have bench power, if I'm testing out a new radio, all we got to do is flip our switch. This is powered up. Turn on. The Zygu G90, yeah, that's coming. And we're good to go. Freaking awesome. I had to back the camera up for this one. Now, we've got the mothership, the 1128. This is gonna get screwed into my wall as my distribution block for at home. So let's take a look. Never opened it before. It's been sitting here all week and I have not opened it, waiting to make this video. So what is this thing? This is basically like a power strip that you would have for your home line voltage, but it's for power poles. Look at that thing. All right, so you've got your meter so you can monitor your voltage. Nice big heavy gauge wire. You've got your ground lug here. And then these three fuses are always on. And then you have this switch here. So all of your other accessories, your VHF radio, your uh, a battery charger, things you're just testing that you need voltage whatever anything that you don't always need on you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine other uh sockets to plug in that are all switched you've got holes for mounting and this is what i am going to 
plug all of my power poles in right now because right now the way I have everything is pretty janky. Let me show you. So here's part of my bench. Um, kind of looks like everyone else's <laughs> messy as all get out. So I've got two power supplies here. I've got another power supply on the other side of the bench. And then if we look back here, I've got power poles coming out of the wazoo back here. I actually have a uh, like a distribution thing that I made. Like just how terrible is that? I got all kinds of things connecting to this and they're just on ring terminals. They're kind of terrible. I don't like it. So I'm actually gonna mount right there the distribution block. And then over here is my other power supply. So all kinds of stuff going on to power all kinds of radios. I have a VHF radio that goes right here, but it is broken and is in the shop right now getting fixed. So, and then over here, I wired in another little power pull thing. So that I use for like, if I'm just testing things and I need voltage, but now I can have it all right on a thing right there. So that's gonna be awesome. So I'm kind of thinking that would be pretty perfect, like right there. Now everything can just plug in there. Every time I wanna find a wire behind my desk, it is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> as I'm sure it is for a lot of you other guys. So this is gonna make life a whole lot easier. Okay, so just to show you guys this thing in action, everything's off right now, obviously. I've got this meter hooked up to this first, uh, these first three are always on, like I said, you've got a, a 40 amp fuse here in the beginning and then a 25, 10, and 10. And then all of these other ones are controlled by this switch. So I'm gonna turn the power supply on. You can see our meter went up so we can check our voltage there. This I just put there just to show you that it's on and completely independent of the switch. This doesn't make a difference on that. And I just so happen to have this little LED light that I put power poles on. I'm not kidding you guys. I literally put power poles on everything that I can. So let's just pick any random uh, place here. Slot eight looks good. Now we're gonna turn that on. Look at that, we got light. So all of these are controlled by the switch. This thing is really, really cool. Well, thanks so much everybody for watching. Uh, if you're half as much of a power pole nerd as I am, I'm sure uh, at least one of these products will pique your interest. Uh, currently, as of the recording of this video, this little guy is retailing for $49.95. Uh, this one here is going for $54.95. And the Big Mama Chapina goes for $115.95. Uh, go check them out. MFJ's got a whole page in their catalog on all kinds of power pole stuff. These aren't the only three they've got all kinds of even more things. So, so if you're interested, go check out mfjenterprises.com. You can take a look at all of them. I'll also have links to these in the description as well, like right here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. Thank you! Well, what are you still doing here? It's over. Well, thanks for continuing on to the end. For those of you that stayed with us, I'm giving this away. So all I want you to do is in the comments, just write, I made it, and put your call sign in as well so I can look you up on QRZ and get your address, because I'm gonna send this to you. At the end of January 2020, I'm gonna take all the names that have commented, I made it, I'm gonna scramble them up, and someone is gonna win this. I appreciate you all for sticking with us through the entire uh, video. That means a lot to me. And I'm going to reward you for it. 7-3, guys. K at MRD.